Once again, welcome to Jimmyism Total Nerdy Channel. And I have a ACF tank tutorial. That tank is super slow. So now I will give you a tutorial option to make an APC. That is an ACF APC. It's a faster military vehicle, armored and all, a bit lighter gun. Uh, instead of a 120 millimeter autoloader, we will have something less heavy and, well, a more agile and fast tank. So that's what's um, up for today. Um, also, we will be using Spider's uh, tank ship also for the aiming of the turret. Uh, so you can see that also even though I have a separate tutorial for that if you like to but we will basically make it all a faster military vehicle so let's begin this plate will serve as our base plate it's one of those 66 times 19 192 well um, some time uh, some while ago somebody asked me why I use this creepy skin and well you know what I don't know I just started using it and I can't change skin while in like in the middle of tutorial making or something can I so I will just continue that but anyways we'll find some wheels we'll actually begin with spawning some um, wheels. Now we will make an APC that uh, it will not have hydraulic steering but rather the ACF built in fashion steering. So uh, let's select a better type of wheel if we go to transportation. Basically, we will use wheel uh, B60. So spawn six of those will be really nice. And we will align them up to axis them. So we will use precision tool to move those wheels like that, just to move, and we will move it to the second one. Oh, it's re rotating also. Well, and the next one, move it to the second. And now Smart Snap is still acting a bit weird after some of those dreaded updates. But uh, what you basically do is that you press reload like several times, uh, no, press E uh, a number of times, and it will, after a while, like move to the right place. However, do not move around like this because this you, yeah. I don't know why that feature even exists, but it does. It's like the feature of picking up stuff by pressing, I think it's E or something. Uh, that's super annoying when you try to get in a vehicle and it has kind of parented, parented entities or stuff and you accidentally lift something up and it's impossible to get in. Well, that's just my opinion. And now we seem to have gotten a bit too close. Then we will actually... We will actually redo this by placing those a little bit far off. Actually, I need to... Uh, now, if your smart snap looks like this, you might need to go to option, smart snap, and then we will have... There is something. Num yeah is it this one we need to increase no it's not maximum ah that one okay let's increase it to oops 38 and we have enough snapping points how will that be I think we'll go for this one. Okay, let's do that several times. Now we do, um, well, one could have set up some precision alignment fancy mirroring mood, but uh, 
<laughs> I, I usually don't do that. I really should, I guess, but... Okay, and the last one. Around there should be good. Okay, last wheel. Like that. And... There. Okay, are we set up? I guess so. Now, uh, a tool re you really need to have, or really should have, that's axis center. Um, axis center is so immensely useful. Check no collide. Um, because you press the wheel, then the prop. Press the wheel, then the prop. Remember to click at the right like side of the wheel, where you want it to, to be axised. And do this before... Or actually it doesn't matter, but... Uh, well, if you need to make spherical them, do it later. Now, it should be, well, set for rolling. So, I guess that's nice. I think we need to go to the weight tool. Um, set that to 500 for the moment. Or like, this is an APC 1000 at least. Whoa when building, you know. Um, however, uh, if you want to know what this is, this is GB Radial Menu. Check out uh, my channel for the review and how to install a video if you want that. So, now we will slave the wheels. For that we need to do Advanced Ball Socket, or Ball Socket Advanced uh, Construct, and then we'll do this reverse thing. Minimum 180, maximum minus 180. Minimum 180, maximum minus 180. So they basically are reversed, um, no friction and check free movement. And then you basically do well, like this. And now you can see that all these are basically the same moving entity. Oh. That wheel is reversed. What a knowing. I will just fix that. Um, but, well, we will be constraining these up too, like that. And now all of them will be one. Okay. Now we will spawn some ACF stuff. So basically go to ACF menu. We have mobility. We need a gearbox. And, well, we might want a four-speed gearbox. Might be nice. Um, well... We will have a large and we need a dual clutch. Dual clutch is kind of needed. Well, and anyways, it should be a transaxial. Uh, make it large just because we don't know what large engine we want. So basically, spawn it. Now this beauty is kind of big. Um, so we will go and no collide it by right clicking and carefully installing it in our little neat tank. Also, I hate this white grid material, so just let me change the material of that one so I don't... Look, I find this fantastic construction material. Oh, that was kind of not very smart. Well, anyways, Align this one up to the backer of the wheels or the front, it doesn't really matter as they are all connected. When we have aligned this up, we should bring our welder and weld it. Bring up your ACF and we will choose a nice engine. I think we'll have a V8 maybe... That's... Let's have an overkill engine. Yes, let's have an overkill engine. Okay. Um, so, bring up your no collide. No collide this one. Um, then you also can... I kind of find this ugly. So we really release, remove the exhaust and make a little nicer um, air filter thing. Make it kind of close, but not... We, we want it crammed in space, but uh, 
also if the engine is bouncing around it causes it to delink from that one also so link up the backer wheels and it should be fine weld the engine to the base plate and I failed very skilled okay like that so now we can basically go with some wiring um, we will need a chair, chair uh, kind of soon so let's spawn a chair for uh, regulation reasons in ACF we kind of want this chair so Or basically we can have it anywhere for the moment now we will be actually building a little circuit board um, if you want to use your like circuits for more builds you can save them as an advanced duplicator file and then you can spawn them every time you need that type of circuit and you don't have to redo it every time so that's a little tip from me to you Anyways, I will materialize this just building a little bit in Gmod and I get tired of this uh, like default uh, grid materials. Anyways, uh, pod controller, I have it on my favorites. Uh, save all your wire tools you often use in your saver favorites and you will save lots of time. Link it up by right clicking. Now we will have a multiplier gate, so we need to search for gate, gate, gate. Um, then on Artemic gates, you will find the multiply gate. Select your multiply gate and we will be using mm, big tutorial friendly gates like that. Uh, then we will have an like strange value. Where are you strange value? Hello constant value they are called. Now we will have some different numbers. We will have one, we will have hundred, and the rest um, I don't have in my head right now, so we fix that later. Let's use that model for the constant value. So let's be wiring up some smaller stuff. Activate on, activate on pod controller, throttle on the multiply gate. A on 100 as we will to, uh, want to have 100% throttle. Um, well, we will throttle by W. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, select your like left clutch. That's left clutch. Then let's see here. It will be activated on the A button I think and right clutch on the D button if I'm not thinking in reverse which I do sometimes okay let's test this out and I am thinking in reverse <laughs> oh oh cool now <laughs> now it's actually um, oh well I love that it's upside down as it has some weight issues as the engine is down. But now we basically can steer like insanely. Uh, and as I said, we do have an insane engines, but that's kind of fun as the tank is somewhat uh, underpowered in force. This will be overpowered. Isn't that nice? Or we haven't put on gun yet, but uh, we eventually will. Okay, redo this. Left clutch should be on D and right clutch should be on A. Okay. Now let's drive this thing. And this is only first gear. Whoa! Oh yes. You look at the funny wheels now. Doesn't that look nice? Um to fix this, we kind of need Jeep tire. 
no, not what I'm thinking Jeep material, but that's not what I wanted to make. Uh, we might need that also later on, but uh, basically make spherical. Just press make spherical on all the wheels. Uh, you probably have make spherical, but uh, well, it's kind of a must have tool for a Garris mod vehicle builder. And well, this will get a bit slower when you get some armor on. But you can see it's uh, it's rather fast. Oh yes. <laughs> Damn it. It uh, now it's kind of hard to hit your um, base plate when all the spherical things are in the way. Now we should be cladding it in some armor and also leave a hole for the turret as um, you must have holes for your turrets. If you have turrets then we need to go to I think it's maybe geometry. It is the, the holiest of squares they are called. This is oh yes this is what we want. So Let's see here. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. these are a bit larger. Whoa, 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 whoa. That one maybe? Is that appropriate? I think we'd rather go with that one was best. Okay. Let's. I will spawn some props and uh, align them in some armor shape that I like and I well you do the same with your vehicle as you want your armor. So see you in a bit. Okay we are halting at the start and we continue. So now I'm finally done with the armor. Oh yes. Now I know everything about ACF armor. Perhaps you have watched my other ACF uh, tutorials about armor, um, but I will go through the armor again. Um, that said, it doesn't mean I'm not lazy. I'm totally lazy and this is uh, the best I will do. Anyways, it does like, look unique and I wanted to make something that looked like something I never seen before. I, I have certainly not seen this before. Anyhow, anyhow, APC, as you know, armored personal carriers tend to have uh, amphibious properties. Maybe they can go in water as well as land. Um, so I wanted to make a little boat shape of it. However, um, let us get to material to get a little more of uh, Gmodism style over the whole thing. That is rust. So we'll strap on some nice bike rusty colors to get the right Gmodism feel. And now you make um, ACF armor, then you should use as few armor parts as you can but not less. So that's basically a little tip that I can say. Use as few armor parts as possible, but not less. Um, that is because uh, you want your armor parts to have uh, kind of high properties uh, and you want to have them as few as possible so nobody can shoot a hole. Uh, in your stuff. Anyways, I have uh, added these little protection sideboards um, as you see if one wheel got shot off or anything like that. It kind of can be good to have. And there is some ACF uh, regula regulations that uh, say that there must be a hole up to your uh, turret to make it more balanced I think. So we actually left a hole um, like for the turret. And now uh, I will try to search the right material to get the right Gmanism feel over the whole thing. The material I kind of most usually use. 
I don't have a too large variety of those I like. However, those two will be... Yeah, I think this will be the right geomodism feel that I want to have. Rust all, all over the place. Um, those sideboards too. We will keep the bottom uh, transparent for some building reasons. Now it's kind of important that the armor covers the whole thing, otherwise it's not very good. But well, let's parent this up. Basically, um, go to your gates. Gates, gates, here. Um, spawn a random gate. I always spawn a add gate. I don't know why, but I do. Spawn this gate on your plate. This is the, like, yeah, no, obey me. Um, here, like just on your base plate, little prop. That is our parenting master gate. We'll parent everything to it. Now take your multi parent tool. Now check remove constraints, disable collision, but do not take set weight. Other than that, select every little prop that is part of your um, basic hull armor, everything that are armor and you want to be sitting on basically the base plate and stuff. Should be clicked. Dum -dum. I had to do some special stuff there to cover it up. Now go inside. I think it's all selected. Check an extra time. And then you go to your master gate and right click. For safe measures, copy the whole area and save it as a no APC IP that is in progress. You can see I added GI here for Gmodism Industries as I try to label some of my builds. Anyways, now you should be able to unfreeze it and we have a completely covering shell for our little ACF APC. Wow, this goes on turbo. Um, well, excuse that little. Uh, anyways, let's go armoring. Mm, select your ACF armor, ACF armor properties. Now, um, uh, I can recommend my basic ACF uh, 1, 2, 3 tutorials to give you a basic understanding of ACF. Um, then you will learn kind of everything I know. Uh, but firstly, Docility uh, decides how many, tame, how many times your armor plate will be able to be get shot. Uh, thickness uh, decides how much penetrating, um, how many armor penetrating units it will stop. Um, so uh, if it's like 10 on a frontal plate, uh, big guns will shoot right through it and you will be sitting in a tin can rather than armored stuff. However, angle matters. That is, this is slightly angled and this is angled. That is, those does not need, need as much armor as the front plate because this plate will take every blow it hits. Nothing will bounce off that hit it right on. So, 30, um, the back plates, let's see here. How much will this weigh? Okay, know what? 500, okay. But that's okay, that's okay. Those back plates have 30 armor. Actually, I want... I want 40 armor and then we will have then be able to take uh, no no 50 and they will be able to take a little less blows but uh, they will stop and you can see it was quite heavy so actually I regret that put it to 40 again 
Um, now these are kind of angle. That is, uh, those can also be 40. Now those around the wheels. Well, the wheels is uh, spherical now uh, to get some grip. So it's, uh, well, 50 should do for this these side props too like that and I actually want to higher this to 60 for those plates because I think they will take kind of much blows uh, now you have to basically decide how much armor you want on each piece whoa Mm, this can be 70 armor, 70, 70, and I say that we have 80 on this front plate, and we can have 70 again on these side plates. I think that might be appropriate. Now, we don't count at getting too many blows right ahead. Like, all the, all the shots that will hit these plates will be very angled. So we can actually have that to 30 armor, and it should be enough. Now we will go to our weight tool and just check around how heavy stuff are around here. And now things weigh quite a bit, and we might need to change this later on. But we unfreeze the whole thing and see if we still have our turbo capabilities. Now we can see we are going a bit slower than we did before. So it's perhaps maybe so that our armor is too heavy. But however, we will take it back and continue the construction. Okay, so I made a few changes. Um, basically, I wanted it a bit lighter. Um, so what I did was simply uh, reapplied every armor uh, but halving the docility uh, and that saves quite some weight. So it was so simple so I just um, when you want to change the armor you right click and you only got the status here and then you set it to the value it was an 80 and I put it to around a half and then you apply it on the plates and then you will get another weight. Uh, just check the weight now there is no pop-up I don't know why but uh, then you can check the weight again like that however um, let's see yes um, I tried out some stuff but I removed those but we want to have it uh, all the wheels slaved like this so those are like that and those are like that how beautiful now we will fix up with some steering. Also go to your ACF menu. Actually, I can use the C menu. Um, set your final drive to something lower than 1. Like I set it to 30... Uh, set it to point twenty or point eighteen, something like that. And it should be enough. Now we want to have... Uh, we go to wire and we go to weld latch. Um, Take the yeah, take the middle wheel, and uh, oh yeah, on the base plate, spawn your controller. Take the left wheel, base plate, spawn a controller. Now let's see here. Left should be on D if I'm not remembering wrongly and the right one that is should be on a if i'm not mistaken so and you know what i think i am mistaken that's here let's see here where did i well where did i wire them okay uh Was that A and that D? Okay, now I try again. Yes, yes. Now it's now is it as it should be. 
So now we have working steering. We basically use friction steering. Uh, that's the easiest way to make uh, steering to have a not too vulnerable uh, APC armored personal armored personal carrier. That is or light tank. If you want, you can make light tanks in this manner also, actually. But uh, I haven't, I, I haven't made a proper APC before, so I mean, uh, Ace Nov, a friend of mine, you've probably seen some co-op videos with him. He's like master of APC and lots of other stuff. But anyways, what was I thinking now? Yes, of course, we have in the... Damn it, take your wiring tool. We haven't wired up the gears. Put gear up on... Uh, I usually have them on mouse 1 and mouse 2. Um, yeah, why not? Gear down, mouse 2. I think we will fire by the space button. That's kind of old time science fiction. But So now we can gear up. Gain some hurry, high, higher speeds. Also, of course, you might want to gear down when you steer. Um, usually, I have backwards gear as first gear, but when building APC, we actually want uh, backwards gear, like the highest gear, because you want to fastly be able to gear up and down. But you can see we have a quite controllable vehicle. We don't need any brakes on this also because we just press uh, both A and D at the same time and we have instantaneous brakes. Now, we will be making some gun turret. And I want to make this futuristic looking gun turret. Um, I will look through the ASF menu and choose a gun that I like to have. Uh, remember that cho don't choose a too heavy gun or whatever, but uh, if it's too heavy, you will have problem with making it steering around with the friction steering. That's why I needed to lower the armor a bit. Now I have made my decision. I firstly thought out the cannon, but I checked some values. And for one and a half ton, we can get uh, about 110 penetration of armor piercing. Uh, so I decide to go for semi automatic cannon. Now, as I said, we will be using Spider's tank ship. So we will be make a little basic turret. So we will have to go to S props, go to, is it cylinders? And then we will have a plate down here. Oh no, it's probably geometry. Disc, that's right. They're called rather, rather than round plate, we can call them discs. We will have a proper disc to put our basically <laughs> weapon platform on. Um, now you can make different types of uh, turrets. Uh, most commonly uh, people make like nice turrets made for people to sit in. Uh, but for this little beauty uh, I want to make a turret that looks completely artificial, artif artificial intelligence, but that's Swedish, artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's hard, you know, learning a second language and talk it as well as your first language. Anyways, I want to make a futuristic looking artificial intelligence uh, like turret. And this turret will be k kind of a. Uh, but now I want it down. Oh, now I'm talking to myself. But I want a turret that looks like it's like remote controlled. It should not look like somebody is sitting inside it. It should look like it's a remote turret. 
and uh, oh, I almost forgot. Um, sorry for this randomness, but uh, wheels change the weight to yeah, 300 for the outer wheels and leave it at 100 for the middle wheels. I just wanted to say that. Also, I just uh, thought that I probably forgot. Um, actually, we must armor the wheels about, yeah, maybe. Let's see how heavy it is. I totally forgot about that. We absolutely need to arm the wheels, otherwise we will not stand a chance. 1000, too much. Now this is hard, because we want kind of 20 armor. Um, I think we'll lower it for 10 for this one. Okay, what's the weight now? 500. Okay. Those wheels need to be armored. Actually, all of them. Just let us make a fast check and see if the whole contraption works. And that we do by just doing this. Also, we can save it. Like that. Yep, it, it does still work. Excellent. Then we don't need to talk about that anymore. Um, now, I do not completely not remember what I was going to say, um, but maybe I will come up with it. Um, the turret will be looking like uh, somebody steers it from inside with some wire control, um, because the feeling of this tank I want, uh, or APC, um, is that it should be like a futuristic uh, declined tank, like a tank from, from the future that has been in service too much, like a bit futuristic post-apocalyptic. Oh yeah, advanced. Now, get your axis center tool, hit the gun, hit the plate. Is that pivoting point? Nice. I say, not quite. Remove that, move your gun to where you want it. We could have used mass center, of course, but whatever. Um, reapply the axis. Yeah, this is better. Now it will be in total balance. Now also, do this with your little plate here. And we will have a turret moving around. Now, the weight of that is super low. Um, we will fix that by using the ACF armor tool directly. We at least need 20 and some docility, at least. Now, go and check the weight. What is this? 381. I think that's completely okay. Okay, now this is exactly in the right weight. Isn't that nice? Before I die from uh, looking at horrible looking grids, I will just change the material of that one. We will use this one. Uh, no, we will not. This in layers looks horrible. Ah, that one is good. Uh, now we will spawn all the electronics. Now go to your <clears throat> expression tool. Um, wherever it is. Oh, EPG. We need an EPG later on anyways. Um, for convenience, we just spawn all of these electronics directly on this plate. The EPG graphics set it to hood. Just use this, these little options. I set it to hood and then it will be okay. Now, let's find the expression EPG thing. Where are you, EPG thing? No, expression 2. What am I saying? And 
So just scroll down, turret to the combo, that's the one, save and exit. And now we shall spawn this one on a plate like this. And it should be completely fine. Now we need some other thing. That's right, we need to find something called cam controller. I just search QCAM ca cam controller. Now look carefully at this. Check client side movement. Check client side zooming. Check draw player. Check draw parent. Leave everything else unchecked. I have this set to 18. That's default. Spawn that one too. Okay, that's not totally aligned like that. And I think this should be fine. Now get your wiring tool. We can connect up fire to space will be our firing button. Now go to your cam controller. Um, put activated on well, activated port controller. Now we will have activate on that one. Also on activate on port controller. The gate that is. We only have one weapon. Ignore those. Cam. Cam controller. EPG. EPG. Gun. Gun. Base. This is our base plate. Share. I, I, I actually don't remember if it's the turret base or the vehicle base. I think it's the vehicle base, but we'll notice if it wasn't so. Okay, I think we're good to go. Now, we haven't connected up the EPG. And you know how to do that. Go to your EP, EPG. Or whatever. Search is awesome or not. Um, right click on the EPG thing and then right click on the share. Like a port controller. Now only we press space. Well, our turret is basically functioning. Now it's limited in angle like this. But. Uh, Let's actually go through that. Go to your ship. Um, no, 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 no. We firstly need to change, select our expression two. Go to your ship. And then we will, oh. Um, scroll down a bit. Okay, down here, um, rotate speed. So basically, I think that uh, maybe we will change this to 18 as we have APC, it should be a bit faster. Elevation, I think we will have this to 20. Upload and exit. Just click for safety measures. Okay, whoa. Okay. Now we need to unfreeze stuff. Naturally. Okay. Now we have a bit faster turret, suiting a lighter turret for an APC. And we also have a higher gun elevation. I will see if we can uh, change the field of view a bit so we can get a little bit closer also. Okay, I actually hadn't done that before, um, so that was new to me, but it's easy. Camera stuff down here. Um, distance, this was 200. I changed it to 100. Upload and exit. Get in your share. See, we are now much closer and we can scroll in and out as we wish. So that's something. Let me model this turret up. Okay, i done some basic modeling of the turret. Um, now we will go and have select the material. 
just to be changing this little ring here. After that, we will bring from bring our parenting tool. So basically, we take those two parts and wire it directly on the gun. However, this will completely remove its collision damage. This will not take any shots. They are only for decoration now. However, this part down here, we will actually armor a slight bit. I think that uh, this prop can have maybe 30 armor, as well as this one and the other ones we will leave unarmored. We'll just check the weight a bit. And this is too heavy. You can see rings are not the optimal shape of uh, armoring actually. So we will totally lower that to 10 and have some less facility. Let's check the weight again. 120. Okay. Okay, it will do. Now we will take our parenting tool. Um, we can parent those. Oh, let's let's parent them all in one one shot, if so say. But we will, however, change the material of them first. So they all will be this nice rust color. And we will parent them directly on... Oops, that was a mistake. Ah, we can reach it on the gate like this. And I think we should be set for going. So we will be copying it all, pasting it and try it out. Like that. Arm freeze. And I say we have a rather nice looking turret. And a completely maneuverable APC. Isn't this nice? And I don't even think we have broken any ACF rules. So, well, that's nice. Oh yes. Well, let's be basically getting on some ammo for that little one, as well as getting in, uh, well, getting in the seat. Basically hang this in the air like this. Um, now we will be firstly taking our little seat and some way of stuffing it inside there. We probably need a half lying down like I am lazy, I am parented to everything by right clicking and we should be trying to align it here. It's kind of hard to work in this uh, there is not much space in this little environment if so say. Like that. Uh, I believe that we will have this seat a bit more in the front like this. Well, this will be none of the less realistic um, vehicles as we just have a seat in the well, right in it rather than having some advanced stuff. But, uh, well, Acenov made some fantastic, fantastic APC with a nice interior and st such. But anyways, this will do. Go to your ACF menu and we shall be looking at ammo boxes. So, where are our 70? 57. 57 millimeter semi-automatic. Scroll down and let's see what the maximum penetration we can have is. 114 seems to be the max. Okay. How many shots? 15. We need a little bigger ammo box I think rather that one 
43. Yeah, that's good. And then we will have a high explosive. It's always good to have high explosive. We will have tracer on this one also. Hmm. Now it's kind of we want a maximum length to have some more like that. How many shots? 43 also. Okay. For our extreme convenience, we no collide this one before we put them in. Um, right click them to connect them to the gun. Select your wiring tool. Put activate on the activate on your seat. Like that. Now we also should be getting our coloring tool. The armor piercing does not have any tracer, but the high explosive we will be set to red. Now we will try to stuff those inside the tank. And I don't, I don't think that parts um, are allowed to be clipping in each other. I actually think that's off the rules, so we will be trying to arrange them so they don't collide too much, if you so say. Anyway, before we do this, we kind of want to align the whole... Oh damn, I can't reach my base plate. Ah, now. Let's get in there. and aligning them, um, we will actually press reload on the seat to remove all the welds and put it outside for a moment and then we will try to throw in the ammo boxes on a more, more allowed, allowed way to so say. Okay, so basically this seat is now moved to the back of the tank. Then we don't need to collide with the ammo boxes as well as it could be possibly a bit unpleasant to sit on the ammo boxes. I don't know. Or fun. Okay, let's have our board. Oh yeah, it's not non-collided. Let's non-collide it. And go down in the tank put it... yes, nothing collides, good. We could have it like our little instruction weird board, or something like that. And we just weld that one to the base plate if we happen to want to move it later on. So basically Straighten up all your parts. Whoops. Remember that ACF guns have up and down sides. Uh, I had some problems before and I uh, personally meet up with um, Spider so he could teach me some more. That was a while ago. Um, but um, if the ACF guns are upside down, they might not be aiming uh, really decently. So we save this one, and I actually think that it kind of work. Okay, let's walk inside it. There is a few things that we really should do, but other than that... Oh! Yeah. Like, for example, parenting the ammo boxes. The ammo boxes can actually be parented, and so, uh, well, basically take your ammo boxes, like that, and then you just parent them, parent them, 
on the gate like that. I also want to put on some decorative props. I can show you the result. Wait. Now I just changed the color of the gun. Um, also, we will change the color of all these weights to the proper rust color like that maybe. They kind of look like chocolate. That's not the effect we want. Let's try steel gray. Yeah, steel gray is better. But anyways, uh, I spawned some decorative props. Now take your parenting tool. Now you should check set weight. Um, because the decorative props should not have any armor properties and thus should not add any to the weight. So we take the decorative ones. I think it's only those. And then just right click our little parenting gate. Like that. Now we will be seeing if we are basically done. So we will try to freeze up everything. And there is one thing more that we want to do. We actually want to check the armor of the base plate. Because we want some armor on that one. 14. Ah, leave it. It's okay. If a bullet hits, it will basically hit very angular. So I think it will do actually. Now, copy the whole thing. And um, ah, for convenience, I will save it inside tanks. We will see. We'll name it A. Gymodism Industries APC. And it will be it will be called the Wrangler. Yes. It's this is the Wrangler. Gymodism Industries the Wrangler. So let's be see if everything works out as it should. Now we can gear up by mouse buttons. Excellent. And this is the backwards gear. Okay, gear down to gear one. Fire. Okay, it's reload. Now, now we just set up the ammo type so they will mix. It will randomly mix atom ammo types. Press A and D at the same time to break. Like speed up like this and break. Well, it might be too lightly armored. I do not really know. I'm not sure. So we will basically test out it from the side. Oh, space was it. Need to load. And it seemed to be ricocheting some. And there we shoot up some decorative props. And ooh, I think we got a good shot between the wheels and hit the ammo. Isn't that nice? Well, of course, um, you might want to make a more decently armored one, but uh, also it might be wise to try to take the heaviest blow from the front. Or having better side armor than this one has, because I believed that what was that happened was that we shot in this angle right in the box. Well, I anyways hope you have enjoyed the Gmodism APC tutorial. 
how to make a APC armored personal carrier in Garry's mod with ACF. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope I will be seeing you in the next tutorial. And of course, that camera doesn't work now. As we have a cam controller. Well, anyway, well, anyways, Jimalism says thank you very much for watching. This is Jimalism Total Nerdy Channel officially out. See you in next video. Subscribe and like and share to your friends. Twenty-seven tons. Well, that's a bit. <laughs>